Welcome to this week's Options Market Weekly Recap. We're going to dive right into where we are in the market year to date, what it looks like moving forward, the different sectors, how they've performed, and the trends and opportunities. And we're going to jump into the live trades that we've got on. So let's jump right into it. Before we get started, do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button down below. Also download the free options workshop in the link below. It talks about the two main benefits of trading options over buying stocks. All right, guys, we started the week in the S&P 500 at 57.51 and we ended up at 58.15. This is the weekly chart. Now, year to date, we started at 47.43 and uh, now being at 58.15, we're up 21% year to date. So we've still got a high PE of about 21.22 as well with the 10 year average being around 18. So uh, a little bit uh, overvalued market uh, historically right now. If we look at the five day uh, different sectors and how they performed, you can see industrials did pretty well at uh, just over 2% as well as technology. A uh, big loser was the technology or utilities. They were down. And uh, year to date, I think, yep, everything's up still. Uh, 25 uh, for utilities, uh, financials 23, and the uh, communication sector 24%. I wanted to look at energy last week. So energy, uh, pretty flat, down 0.4. All righty. And if we look at the uh, FactSet Earnings Insight Report, I like this report. Uh, we can uh, definitely see the growth for Q3 at uh, looks like 79% of the companies have reported. Um, for Q3, the earnings growth rate is 4.1%. And uh, we can look moving ahead. If we go to this page, uh, should be around right here, 13, 14. We can look at the numbers. Oh, here we go. Okay, so page 15. Uh, you can look at Q4 expected earnings growth of 14%, 14.2, and revenue growth of 5.1. And then going into uh, for the whole calendar year 2025, they're expecting earnings growth of 14.9% and 5.9%. So really good numbers going forward are, expect, are expected. And a lot of that has to do with the interest rates. And you can see right here for November, we had a, in October, we had a half point cut in November. Uh, so right now we're at four and three quarters to 5%. There, uh, there's an 89% chance. So very highly likely that it's gonna be a quarter point cut in November down to four and a half to four and three quarters. So with the good economic news, uh, it doesn't seem like there's a need to cut a half point. It looks like a quarter point is in store for uh, November. And then uh, December, more cuts, and then all through next year. And you can see July of next year, you know, we're going to be around in that three and a half percent range. The fear and greed index right now is at 74. So with the market up, um, a lot of people think it's going to go up, but this is when, I, you know, we got to be careful. And uh, I want to have less invested in the market long when this is the case. And, uh, you know, it's a good opportunity for uh, call strategies as well and wait for the market pullback, but uh, we shall see. And uh, let's jump in uh, to the, the live trades. So the first one is oil. Uh, actually been doing pretty well in oil uh, lately. And uh, we just in the last 30 days, if we look at crude, yeah, we've made 316 bucks just in the last 30 days trading oil. And the reason is, you know, when it gets down to that 70 range, this is the one year chart. Uh, when it gets down below 70, then I go long oil. Um, you know, with the wars going on and, uh, you know, depending on who gets in uh, office in, uh, you know, the beginning of next year uh, with the election coming up, then, uh, you know, the, the pricing of oil uh, can fluctuate. But, you know, it's anytime it gets down below 70, I, I'm going to be long. And that's the only... Uh, real way I trade oil. AMD is another one. Um, it's at 167. My target for AMD is actually much higher than that, uh, but we've done pretty well in AMD. If we look at the curve mode on the platform, we can see 167 is right here. IVR is still pretty high, but we've got puts, uh, credit spreads, and calls. I've got two put credit spreads and one call credit spread. 
and look at that range profitable all the way from 150 up to 195 so a huge trading range profit range uh, from here uh, and, and uh, it's been trading pretty consistently in that range and again my targets longer but with high IVR our high IVR I like to sell premium so that's what I'm doing uh, in AMD right now and uh, AMD has earnings later this month on 1029 and uh, you can see on the tasty trade platform right here uh, yeah, over the last 30 days, wow, we've done really well. $1,239 in AMD. And then you can see that earnings date on uh, 1029. Um, let's go to Avago uh, Broadcom. Uh, it's trading at 181 right now. And uh, I'm going to uh, stay in this trade until tested. It's right between. I've got an iron condor on and we're right in the middle. So uh, a lot of profit to go. We've got $271 left in extrinsic. Uh, left on uh, on that one and they've got earnings let's see 12.5 so no no earnings in uh, November so that's nice uh, coinbase I did a couple videos on this uh, check them out but we've done really well in coinbase trading these and uh, we're we've got right now uh, you know we're profitable we've got two put credit spreads and profitable as it moves up we're at 175 right now and you can see that chart kind of a flag pattern but you know I think this is kind of the bottom I think uh, it's gonna move up from here so I'm definitely long coin uh, my target for coin is much higher so I'm gonna stay with uh, puts put credit spreads selling them to collect premium Chevron is one that I added I went long oil when it was down last week so this one's up slightly Wow big six bucks but uh, you know it's a great dividend play so it's uh, it's a protective uh, type stock as well I've got Exxon Mobil and uh, Chevron but you know it's a put credit spread collected some premium they've got earnings coming on 11 one it looks like um, DraftKings uh, just did a, a video covering some of the some different trades on uh, DraftKings so uh, check that one out and I've got a poor man's cover call in uh, DraftKings. We've done really uh, well in DraftKings. And you can see in the chart just over the last year, I think we've made $3,451 in the last year. So uh, actually DraftKings has been uh, very good to us. And uh, I really like uh, trading the leaps option my target for DraftKings long term is like 50 so it's much higher but I just sell that 42 call against it we're already up on the call 167 and 138 left and then we've got the leaps option uh, that uh, is deep in the money call at 30 L um, we've got a actually I'm looking at putting another one on so because elf is down and it's a great stock I want to be a little bit long but the fundamentals in this stock it's a health and beauty are incredible uh, so I really like it long and I've got both sides on you can see the huge profit range that we've got in this stock we're trading right now at 101 uh, in elf gold is another one iron condors and we've been trading in a range we're still in that profit range right now uh, for gold let me know uh, what you're doing in gold but high IVR so good environment for selling premium I like the uh, iron condors in uh, gold and that's what I've been uh, trading and uh, moving forward uh, let's take a look LHX L3 Harris great defense company same thing 22230 put credit spread and 26270 call credit spread right in the middle everything is uh, working out pretty good for us uh, I know over the last year we've done really well in uh, in this stock as well let's see yeah $1,584 in the last year in uh, in L3 Harris and uh, I like it, uh, but it is kind of at the top end of the range right now. But I like it to stay in the trading range. Um, Micron, I've got two put credit spreads and one call credit spread, and we are right in the middle of the range. So everything's been pretty range bound and high IVR. So we've been collecting good premium. But uh, Micron, my uh, target is 160, so quite a bit higher than where it is right now. It's still been down, but definitely long. That's why I've got. 
two put credit spreads and one only one call credit spread. Um, Netflix, we've uh, done really well and the IVR is high and there's earnings coming up on 1017 next week. So look at this chart. It's just straight up. So I'm thinking I'm going to sell a call credit spread thinking, you know, that expectations for earnings are probably pretty high, but we've been trading it just in the last 30 days. Uh, yeah, we made $338. So that's uh, really good in uh, 30 days, but I'm going to sell a call credit spread up there. So that's the, uh, the trade that I've got on. I've got an 800, 810 in the next six days that will collect 128 bucks is the mid price. I've got it above that now because it's Sunday and, or actually it's Saturday, but the market won't open until Sunday. But if it opens at 128, I'll take 128 bucks uh, risking. Uh, well, again, it's, it's a spread. So I'm not going to get killed if it skyrockets up, but 800 is a long way up. That would put it, man, the chart doesn't even go that high. Um, yeah, here's 800 up here. It would have to really jump and it's already been up. So um, I see a down move, but let me know if you're trading Netflix and if you're trading earnings next week. Uh, NVIDIA is another one, uh, 120, 110 put credit spread. I like NVIDIA long. Um, it's been trading in a range. Maybe I'll look to trade both sides out of call uh, credit spread as well next week. Uh, they've got earnings coming up on 1119. So 1115, this is actually before earnings. And uh, I may do that. I may put on a uh, call credit spread in November. We could do that. Uh, let's see what it pays. I, I like it long, but uh, if we go way out, you know, 148. 158. We could collect the $10 wide, $1.82. Yeah, we'll have to take a look at that one uh, next week. Oxy, I've got deep in the money call, sold a call against it um, at uh, 57 and a half. So uh, Oxy, I like long. It's a Buffett stock. Q's, I've got an iron condor wide. 310 uh, is what we collected, and it's 460, 515 are the. Uh, short strike so we're just above the middle of that uh in the queues but uh, good ivr 32 for an etf so i like that and collecting a third the width of the strike basically 310 bucks uh super micro was down and we've already made 180 bucks on it there was a 10 for one stock uh split um so i figured hey let's go long and yeah we've got a slight move up so we've made a little bit of money in that 180 bucks uh just recently um actually yeah i don't think i think it was a little bit less than that mostly oh huh. and it's not it, calculating doesn't look like that right right now but yeah we're up 180 bucks on this trade uh sofi is another one leaps options we've been uh actually it's starting to come back nine uh dollars now so i like sofi long i i do the leaps because then that can uh uh you know, it's a way to buy and control 100 shares of stock at less than half the cost of doing it. So we, we can own more contracts. So I've got 13 right now of the SoFi. I'm just uh, a SoFi bull. So uh, definitely going to stay long uh, leaps options in SoFi. Uh, 210 to two, uh, 210, 200 credit spread and 225, 215 in Tesla. So two, I closed out my calls in uh Tesla because there was a big move down on Friday. I think there was some event about the robo tax. I'm not sure what that was. If you know about that, uh, let me know in the comments. But uh, yeah, Tesla, I'm definitely a long-term believer in Musk and the company. And uh, my target is, you know, above $300. So I'm going to stay long Tesla. And uh, you can see as it moves up, we make money. And actually, we're still in the profit range right now on uh Tesla. Um, so uh, just in the last 30 days, I think we've done okay as well. Just trading it. Oh, no, it says, it says we lost, but I'm pretty sure we didn't. <laughs> but anyway, uh, Ulta, uh, we've got iron condors on a couple of different one, two, we have two sets of iron condors. And you can see the green profit range here. Um, so I like Ulta Beauty long, and it has been down 
quite a bit there you can see so uh, great fundamental and uh, definitely have a, a, a much higher target price what is my target for Ulta it's 530 wow it's up above 500 um, but uh, Buff, it's a Buffett stock as well so big value play great fundamentals the VIX I kind of have a couple of calls that I bought way out 219 days so it'll take us through the election and through the change or the whatever happens uh, with the uh, White House in January and uh, we'll uh, have some protection if there is a drop in the market in case something I mean hopefully everything's great um, Exxon Mobil um, 105 115 put credit spread we've done really well in Exxon Mobil as well just selling uh, credit spreads and Exxon Mobil is uh, actually I had a big move up in oil so uh, uh, again I'm bullish oil right now all right guys I put a link down below for the free options workshop be sure and grab that remember to hit like and subscribe join Moomoo join tasty trade I put a link down below let me know any comment that you have any question I answer every question and let me know what you're trading Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.